Nothing was too good for Little Miss Splendid. She lived in a huge house, surrounded by large gardens. She bathed in a gold bath, and she dined off silver plates. Oh, she was splendid. At least, she thought so. Soup, my lady? Asked the butler. Ooh, just caviar today, Hargreaves. Very good, my lady. Little Miss Splendid thought a lot of herself. In fact, she thought about nothing else. Good morning, ma'am, said the head gardener. Good morning, um... Cardwell, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am, said the under gardener. Good morning, uh... Cully, ma'am. Cully. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, will you need your car today, said the chauffeur. Not today, Williams. That day, while taking a stroll around her gardens, Little Miss Splendid came upon a small door in one of the walls. She'd never noticed it before. No, I wonder what's through here. Mm? She found herself on a road. Along came Mr. Small, out for a short walk. Good morning. Mm. Little Miss Splendid stuck her nose in the air even higher and walked past him as if he wasn't there. What a common little man. She came to a bus stop. Mr. Happy and Mr. Daydream were waiting for a bus into town. Hello, who are you? I am splendid. Oh, I'm happy. Happy to meet you. Uh, this is my friend, Mr. Daydream. Are you going to catch the bus? Me? The bus? Never. I have never, ever in the whole of my life travelled on a bus. You have to sit next to people on buses, and that would never do. Uh, oh. Mr. Happy couldn't think of anything to say. Miss Splendid walked off with her nose very high in the air. Splendid, splendid, amazing, quite superb. I know you cannot find the words. There's never been a little dislike. Miss Splendid arrived in town. She looked at herself in all the shop windows as she walked down the street. Splendid, splendid. I must say, I do look absolutely splendid. And then, something caught her eye. There, in the middle of the window of the hat shop, was a hat. Not just a hat, but a hat and a half. The most magnificent, sumptuous, desirable, gorgeous, spectacular, amazing, splendid hat you've ever seen. Little Miss Splendid marched into the shop. Shop! Shop! She snapped her fingers and a sales lady hurried to her side. Good morning, madame. Can I help you? I wish to try on the hat in the window. Is this one, madame? Yes. Oh, magnificent. I'll take it. Don't bother to wrap it. I'll wear it. But don't you want to know how much it costs? Put it on my account. Thank you, madame. Goodbye. Little Miss Splendid stood on the pavement and held up her hand. Taxi! Taxi! Take me home! Little Miss Splendid went to get in the taxi, but of course she couldn't. Her new hat was much too large to fit through the taxi door. Driver, you should purchase yourself a larger taxi. In the meantime, I shall have to walk. All right, please yourself, duck. Cheerio! Oh. Perhaps it's better to walk so that everyone has the chance to admire my magnificent new hat. But then it happened. <laughs> it started to rain. And the trouble was, the more it started to rain, the more it rained. And the trouble was, the more it rained, the more Miss Splendid got wet. And the trouble was, the wetter she got, the wetter her hat got. What a sorry sight. 
Don't you agree? Pitter patter down it came, pitter patter pouring rain, pitter patter pumpity splash, what a very sorry sight inside a very wet patty. The bus on its return journey from town passed her. And Mr. Happy and Mr. Daydream, on their way home, looked out of the window. <laughs> oh, I say, oh, what a splendid sight. Splendid, <laughs> chuckled Mr. Daydream. Miss Splendid, looking anything but splendid, arrived home. However, after a hot bath in her gold bath and after a boiled egg in her gold egg cup eaten with a silver spoon, she felt much better. In fact, later on, she spent an extremely pleasant evening looking at... Well, now, what do you think she spent all evening looking at? <laughs> no. No, not a magazine. Splendid. No, 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 not television. Splendid. <laughs> not a book. Splendid. Herself. In the mirror. Oh, I do look splendid. Splendid. She's blind. Hey, Trouble. We're happy, tiny, neat, and silly. Happy, little Miss Sunshine. And fuzzy, and greedy. And fun, too. It's magic. I'm 